gotta fix that ending but hey welcome back to dcw attitude i just noticed that it uh, still had tamara with the championship which obviously changed at legacy where brenna became our new dcw women's champion we'll have that fixed for next week but this week we have some good matches coming up and uh, i hope you're ready for them We are going to start off with a doozy. As we get the Pixel Pals versus the British Union one more time, as these two teams are on the rubber match, with the winner hopefully for them getting a shot at the champions at uh, DCW Entitlement. All right, so we will see uh, Brenna in action this evening, and uh, we'll see our internet champion, Sabrina, in action later this evening as well. But out first, it's the Pixel Pals. I see what you're saying, so take pack, the packs Stephanie, away. Stephanie, the gotcha. Diamond, and Alexia, the Geeks. So you want one more shot at the pack. I see. I will make a note of that quote, by the way. Pixel Pals will want a victory tonight, one that will set them on the road to challenging the unprofessionals who have held the title for a little while here now and have been defending against all comers. Speaking of those two, we will see them in singles action coming up later this evening. ECW needs worthy champions, and the pack doesn't deserve to have another match for the belt. I mean, yeah, you know, they, they've had their shot, I, I was going to say. I mean, I figured all those battles against them that you had was a pretty good indication. And uh, here comes the British Union out, following in the footsteps of their... Fellow teammates who got a victory at last, and they will be wanting to get one themselves. As it's been a while since these two ladies have not worn a belt, and I think they're starting to feel a bit antsy about it. Which sounds way too close for me. The heel and knees coming out. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit, a little bit your character has always been slightly more heelish kind of like how Corbin is the heel of the pack all right here we go Runa and B getting underway together and now B under control leg sweep takes down Runa 
kicked to the midsection. I don't know if they've been working on this game, Kurt. I'm going to have to say, but I've been noticing that some parts of the game are working better than they have in a while, i.e. tag team matches, which seem to finally be functioning again. Because there was a time where if they did a finishing move, that pretty much was the it, and I'd have the game freeze, and I'd have to do the whole match over again. But uh, that seems to hopefully be dying down. We'll see. But uh, I've been able to do more regular matches, I think you'll notice. Maybe your PC got an update? Nah, not really. The game definitely got a couple of updates recently. Down she goes. And I, the reason why I say it's the game is because I've read this problem with the tag team matches. Pretty much is universal. It's not just me that's had problems with it. But I know they're another year away. Yeah, I know you don't really care for them, but all the big sort of like alternative tag matches, that's what they are. All right, once again, B working on Runa, who suddenly has been in trouble since the early going of this match. All right, since the early going, has been in trouble basically off and on, but certainly in the last few minutes. But now, finally, getting back into control, throws B into the corner. Walks over, tags in her partner. Now, Ursula and Runa about to get her. They put her up, and they are going to do a tag move. A tag. Combo move that actually worked quite well. B in big trouble. Elbow now. Tries to go for a kick, but misses completely. That jawbreaker doesn't, and Ursula in firm control. B is down and out. Mm. Suplex comes in. Oh, but B does tag in Phoenix. Quite a good leap there to avoid trouble. The other reason why I think they've edited the game a bit is because I've noticed there's a few more moves available. And Ursula throws Phoenix back in the ring. Now it's a Hurricane Rana. She takes her down one more time. The British Union in a bit of trouble here. It hasn't mattered who's in the ring. They're both having problems. Pinning attempt does not work. Ursula throws Phoenix in the corner, drop kick out of the corner. Was doing 22 takes, 16 again. Was nice to see tag moves in the ring, not just in the corner, especially during Tortango tag, yeah. Actually, the one thing I've noticed recently is the idea in multi-man matches of team uh, non-teammates actually teaming up to do moves. They don't happen, or they, at least previously, I didn't notice them happening too often, but I've noticed them a few times now in a recent week or so. I think basically what you're seeing is you're seeing 2K's new development team working on the next iteration of the game in 2021. And I suspect what they've done is they've done some work on this engine in the process. I know it's a complex engine that's been around for a better part of over a decade, which is part of the issues with it, really. That's why the hair looks so weird. But uh, I do wonder if they're starting to make some headway with fixing some of the bugs that are have been constantly going on. I mean, they still do some basic stupidity, but it is better. Whoa. Phoenix came in quite quickly to break that tag up. We hadn't even got that far. And she comes in and decks Ursula. She is getting counted out, though, which is unusual. Whoa! And Ursula walks over and just decks her. Now that's left them with a great opportunity to finish off B. Pinning combination. One, two. Oh, not a two. Oh, Phoenix is back up. Ursula comes in and just catches B. They're booing. I'm not quite sure why. Drop kick into the corner. Sends B down. And then she Bronco Buster in the corner. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh. 
Roan into the corner now. B follows up with some high knees. Picks up Ursula. Ties her up and over and then cutters her. Opportunity for the British Union to get the win here. Takes her down and goes for the submission. Is it going to work? It usually never does. This is one of those moves B does that almost never does. But this is one of those times where it almost did. But reversed immediately. One, two. Ooh. Yeah, I got reversed, of course, right when I said that. Kick to the back. Tagging in her partner. Here comes Runa. Runa trying to get the fans riled up and on her side. Kick to the back, to the neck, and then a big drop of the knee on the face. Heaves her up and down. Be in big trouble now. Oh, but she might have escaped. Pushes Runa into the corner, tries to follow up and does with a bulldog. One might even say a British bulldog. Oh, comes up, big strike, catches her. Big clothesline and then a big drop kick drops Runa. Sweeps the leg, Johnny, and takes her down. Now she's got her in that stretch move, just putting so much pressure, putting that knee to her face, but be able to get out of it. Oh my goodness, but that turnaround clothesline totally humbled B, who has not been able to make a tag in a while now. Trouble could be coming. Is Ursula going to go? It looked like she might have been going for her partner, but instead appears to now be waiting for B to move. And B does, and so now Ursula comes in. And in there you go. She's got it locked down, but B immediately able to get out. Kick to the midsection again. Oof, big clothesline. Works her magic, takes her out. Trying to gain advantage now outside of the ring. But throws Ursula back in rather quickly. Cut her to take her down. She's looking to pursue this. Throws Runa into the corner. He comes in, tags in Phoenix. It's the first time the British Union have been able to tag in for a while. Here comes the combination move that works to perfection. But Ursula comes in to try and break it up. Kicks raining down now on Ursula. Another shot to the knee, forced out of the ring. Taken down though as Runa works on her. Her partner still out of the ring. Phoenix down. Ursula down. Runa and B both up, but B can't do anything to help her partner. But she catches Runa right there, throws her into the ropes, and then tackles her. Can't really call that anything other than that. Runa able to reverse on that move. Ooh, strike to the midsection, but a big punch catches Phoenix. Throws Phoenix into the corner. Clothesline follows up. Here she goes again with a sharpshooter on Phoenix. Phoenix can't and seemingly, oh, does make her escape this time though. Kicks out of that. Thrown into her corner, but Runa has no partner right now. Ursula only just struggling to get to her feet now. Pin attempt. One. Two. He did not try and break that up, and Luna could only get two. Picks up Phoenix. Has her up and puts her down. 
Tags in her partner. Ursula now in. Kick to the lower leg. Ursula trying to gain advantage over Phoenix. Gets up on the top row, comes down hard. Phoenix in trouble. Ursula now in danger as Phoenix is now working away on her. Those collection of moves now goes for the pin. Bruna comes in to try and break it up, but Ursula kicks out at two. Whoa, Phoenix decks Ursula, or Runa, trying to gain the advantage she needs. Crowd not happy about that. Certainly not happy with the referee who did nothing about it. Down she goes. She's in that clutch, the Kurakuda clutch. Is she going to tap? Are we going to see it? Because the referee's in the way. Collection of moves look bad. <laughs> Pin attempt, one, two. Ursula kicks out. Picked up, tosses her into the corner. Now, an opportune time to tag in, she does. B now comes into the match. Thrown off the ropes, they both arm drag her to the mat. After that judo throw, Ursula still not looking great here. B stretching the leg, doing all she can to work on Ursula. Ursula fights her way out of that big hip attack to regain advantage. One. Oh, pfft. Runa trying to grab Phoenix, instead grabs the referee and pummels the referee with a suplex. Whoa, but Phoenix is out hard as Runa able to muscle her out and over. Is the referee going to be up to even count this mess? Small package. Small package. Referee not counting. We could have been to three already. One, two, three. How dare you that ref count? <laughs> I know, right? And with that, the Pixel Pals with a big victory over the British Union in a very strange way. And a small package victory. A rare one, but a pretty good one nonetheless. That move on the ref was uh, amusing, to say the least. Here are your winners, Stephanie the Diamond. So the Pixel Pals winning up and win, winning an important victory here. They will move on to take on the unprofessionals. <clears throat> Next up we have Tabby versus Lizzie. Lizzie wanting a shot at Brenna, which she will get next week. Well, certainly the business between Brenna and Tamara is not over yet. Tabby 
entering this match will want to get a victory here. It would be very helpful for her, to say the least, to beat one of the number one contenders. Set her up for a chance at an opportunity down the road, but uh, Lizzie Jones is not someone who goes out that easily, and you can be sure will not be someone to go down without a fight. And her opponent, from Oregon, Elizabeth Sparks Jones. And here comes Lizzie. Lizzie has been on a pretty good tear as of late after having struggled for a bit. She's back on the winning column. Of course, she uh, was able to take the title off of Tamara for about a week <laughs> before losing it back to Tamara on the following week which set up the confrontation between Tamara and uh, Brenna, which concluded at Legacy. Oh no, she didn't take it off. My apologies, I got that wrong. It was Phoenix that took it off her. In that three-way match between Lizzie and uh, Tamara. And now, Tabby has got Lizzie, but now turned over and Lizzie's got her in a scissor hold. Blech. Scissor choke is not great fun. Tabby tossed into the corner. She bounces off the turnbuckle in trouble. Tossed overhead and into danger. Quick Hurricane Rana takes out Tabby. Kick to the back. Lizzie working on Tabby now. Tabby in trouble. She needs to fight her way out of this and she does get free of it. Turn over on Lizzie again and another Hurricane Rana. Lizzie feeling the effects of that. She'll be feeling it even worse with that big knee drop. Kick to the back. Goes for the pin. Here we go. One. No, not enough. Not even close. Tabby kicks out quickly. Oh, big. Cutter catches Lizzie, who is taunting Tabby. That has been the tale of this week is the teams taunting the other, or the person taunting their opponent, only to find out that they're opponent was ready for it and catches them big leaping lion salt one oh kick out at one by lizzie working on the arm lizzie in big trouble now Oh, big elbow comes in and catches Tabby. Tabby throws Lizzie into the corner. Strike comes down. Another kick follow up. Lizzie boots her way out of that. But immediately finds herself on the apron. Tabby goes out to the apron. What's she gonna do? This is dangerous. Oh, man! Smashes her head into the edge of the apron. Tries to go for a strike. Doesn't connect. Bash into the apron. Now both of them have met the apron hard. Referee trying to get them in the ring. The two ladies still fighting outside of it. Whoa, bounced off of the post by Tabby. This one is a right 
Rollick of a match here. Kick connects. Hurricane Rana connects. Lizzie back under control again outside. They're at seven. Throws her back in, slides back in on her own. Back to safety. Tabby tries to get to her feet. Lizzie follows up. Oh, that connected. Now, pinning combination here. One, two. Ooh, I thought that was it right there. Very close count. Very close. Lizzie hitting on all cylinders right now, which is the struggle that Tabby's going to have. Here's another pinning attempt. One. Now, too much had happened in between the first one and the second one. That didn't do much. Stomps on Tabby's chest. Picks her up. Comes in. Kick to the back again. Stomp on the arm again. And another. Jawbreaker connects. Lizzie now. Picked up. Oh, she's in the... Cool. And dropped on her face. Tabby kicking her down, looking like she's ready to rock. And she does. Catching Lizzie Jones big time. Taking her down. And then a connection with that. One, two. Holy cow, that was very close. So the two women colliding here. And now she's got her in another vicious submission hold. Can Lizzie get out? She's got her arms elevated. She does finally let go. Rolls her over again. Tries to go for the pin. One, two. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Lizzie is just barely hanging on right now. Tabby's got all the advantage. She's working her to a T, to perfection even. Kicks spanking on Lizzie now. Lizzie comes in with a big jawbreaker on Tabby. Can she gain the advantage back? Takes her down. Heading for the top rope. She's going up. And drops on her with a coffin drop. Opportunity to finish her off now. One, two, not quite enough. Lizzie waiting for Tabby to get to her feet. Tabby has not really moved. Whoa, that boot connected hard. Tabby in trouble. Pinning combination, pinning attempt. One, two, three. And Lizzie finally fights her way out of that match, which was hard fought. Don't know how, but somehow, Lizzie survives to move on and fight another day. And Tabby unable to get the victory. A hardcore, hard fought match that both ladies can be proud of certainly a edge of your seat match which almost ended with the youngster winning but Lizzie able to finish her off finally here is your winner Elizabeth Clark. Brenna comes in surprising Lizzie her possible challenger for the title at some point. Oh! Throws her into the post. Oh my. Lizzie in big trouble. The champion 
It looks like she's trying to send a message. And so far, she's done just that. Brenna waiting patiently. She's... Oh! But Lizzie turns it over. Oh! Boot to the face. Catches Brenna. And with that, Lizzie escapes Jeopardy. The champ may have done some damage, but she's the one looking up at the challenger. So Lizzie is ready to take on the champion down the road. Next up, we have Pershi versus Sabrina in a title defense. No, not a title defense. In a uh, match between these two, this was a non-title matchup. The uh, internet champion. Yes, uh, Brenna has changed her look a couple of weeks back, Kurt. She's uh, did about the time she decided to uh, take on Tamara for the championship, which she won at Legacy. So it's been a bit, but relatively new. All right, first up, it's Pershi. <laughs> he doesn't notice it's a bit pretty well. I mean, fair. Pershi coming to the ring. Another one looking to climb up the ladder of success. This is her first time competing against a champion in a bit. Of course, Sabrina won back the internet title off of Zoe at Legacy. And she would love nothing more than to continue the streak of victories. Sabrina. She has the title around her waist once again after a brief interlude. After losing it to Zoe, she will be looking to hold on to that title. coming weeks I'm sure we'll figure out who the challenger will be that she will be facing certainly I think Zoe would love nothing better than to get a rematch but typically you don't always get an automatic rematch so we'll have to see what the management of DCW think should be the challenger for the internet championship going forward but Parashi right now doing some work on the arm Putting pressure down on Sabrina, making it hard for her. She stands up, gets back to her feet. Kick connecting. Picking up there, she, she drops her back body drop onto the knee. Backbreaker, I should say, not back body drop. Miss there, drop kick connects. Standing up and then immediately with a clothesline connecting was Serena. Pershi in trouble now. Champion definitely making sure that Pershi knows she's in a tough fight. Putting pressure on the chin, wrenching back on it. Pershi gets out again though. She squeaks away. Picks up the champ and tosses her. Just 
Strike connects. Kicking, connecting. And then bashes her head into the turnbuckle. If Parashi can get a win here, this will go a long way in her possible fighting for that championship. Alright. Sabrina grabbing onto Parashi. Looking to do some work. She does rack her up onto the bottom rope. Coming down, raining punches down onto Parachute's face. Sabrina quite happy with herself. Done the work, but blocked, and Parachute comes in and reverses it. Throws her into the corner, drop kick connecting, and then comes in and hits her with another clothesline. The Abyss of Eternity, who at one time were the tag champions, and then one time both had the both, both of them had the singles championship, have kind of traded positions here because, of course, Tamara had the world championship when Sabrina lost it. Now Sabrina has the internet championship back, and now Tamara's lost the world championship. So it's kind of a funny little situation here. Now she's just working on Parashi, stretching her out in this submission hold. But, oh, Parashi using elbows to fight her way out. Fights herself free of that very dangerous and nasty hold. Sabrina thrown into the corner. Here comes Parashi with her cartwheel clothesline. Going to the top rope. Fans are getting excited. Parashi on the move. Is this going to be this leaping cutter? It is. Oh, but she misses badly. Sabrina ducks it and tosses her across the ring. Now she's got Parachute where she wants her. Picks her up and she's going to flapjack her for... Sh oh, she doesn't. That doesn't connect the way I think she planned. Instead, she goes for the pin anyway. One, two, three, and it doesn't matter. Sabrina with the victory as Parashi wasn't able to fight back that big miss coming off the top rope meant she couldn't do it and once again we have another show of sportsmanship coming through as Parashi does shake Sabrina's hand and so the champ gets yet another important victory on the road to entitlement Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a weird screw up, both of those. But uh yeah. Yeah, that was that was weird, Kurt. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Alright, it's cat versus cheeky. The first of our matches between the Hollywood Blondes and the Unprofessionals and Singles matchups. These uh Two teams have been fighting it out for a while now for the uh, tag team gold. Hollywood Blondes, of course, held the championship briefly before the Unprofessionals took it off. Of or, or no, they didn't. Yeah, Hollywood Blondes almost held the titles, but the uh, Unprofessionals have been holding it very well after winning it off of the Abyss of Eternity. I almost got that wrong. First out, it's Cat. Making her way to the ring from New Zealand, Catherine! Less confusing matchup than having Cat 50,000 versus Cat. We've got Cat versus GD. So, of course, they lost to TLC. 
so it'll be interesting to see what the blondes can do in their individual matches. But here comes Cheeky. And her opponent from England, one half of the women's champion, Caitlin. Cheeky has held the title with her partner for a bit here, gaining it early in the summer. And they have been able to win a number of victories and has been in some heated competition with the Hollywood Blondes and with the, uh, the Agents of Chaos as those three teams have been duking it out for the titles over the last few weeks. Blondes unable to gain a victory that stuck with the championship. The M professionals have been incredibly skilled and able to gain these victories somewhat luckily in the case of the match in the three-way dance, but uh, nonetheless, a win is a win is a win, as they say. Cheeky won that victory for them at Legacy, now getting beaten over by Cat. Cat comes down on the leg. Now picking her up, turns her over. She then comes in head butt and then drops an elbow. Strike to the forehead now gets Cat up again. This is not looking good for Cat. She's been bashed around, but she does fight out of it finally, but only for a second as she once again maintained the advantage, but then Reversed one more time. Cat with an opportunity. Strike to the face. And then bangs her into the top row, into the bottom rope. This is a move that's kind of gone away for a while, but now is back as a move of choice, apparently. Cat kicking Cheeky in the face one more time. Bashes her into the turnbuckle. Cheeky in trouble now. Cat working her magic. Trying her best to gain an advantage over her competitor. She's got her tied up. She's locked up. She's in the studio clapper, but gets turned over. And somehow Cheeky gets her head out. Take down and now wrenching, squeezing with that chin lock. Trying to force Cat into giving up, but Cat's gonna try and fight her way out of it. Trying to work her way free of those arms. A big elbow, two, she's out. Thrown into the corner. Cheeky comes up with a high knee that sends Cat reeling. But she gets an elbow or two of her own in. But the backbreaker is very effective. And now Cheeky's back in control. She's got her up where she wants her. She sweeps the leg. Dragging Cat to the center of the ring goes for the pin. Here we go. One. Two. Nope. Not quite what... Cheeky was hoping for there, I think. Waiting for Cat to struggle to her feet. Comes in, trying to focus in on her. Going DDT. Pin one, two. Cat kicks out. Now Cheeky working on the chin. Wrenching on her neck and chin and head and everything else. Goes for another pin. One. Yeah, but that move is not strong enough to get a pin off of, I would argue. Cat back to her feet, able to clothesline Cheeky, and then goes to the apron. She's 
She's coming up onto the apron. That might be bad news. Here comes Kat. And yes, it is. Spear through the rope sends Cheek to the floor. But then she throws her back in. I'm kind of surprised she didn't take advantage of being outside. Kicks come in now. Cheek gaining control again. High risk time, she's going to the top rope. Will she do it? She leaps and misses. Oh dear. What could have been the end might be the end result. As Cheeky fails to hit on that club. And now Kat has her where she wants her, puts her in a chin lock. She's got her in trouble. Cheeky trying to fight out of it. Both parties have wrenched away on this move. Now Cheeky's got her up again, picks her up, throws, throws her over her head. And now she's ready and waiting. She kind of puts a boot to Kat's face. Big clothesline, followed up by another one. Is this the third? It is not. It's a drop kick. Readying to sweep her out, but instead gets clotheslined. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Kurt, I thought it was over really soon. Big super kick connects. Pinning attempt. One, two. Oh, but a kick out by Cat. Or Cat, by Cheeky. Cat looking a little frustrated. Waiting for Cheeky to get back to her feet. Cheeky stands up and gets another super kick to the face. Another pin attempt. One. Two. Oh boy, Cheeky gets out of that one. False finish after false finish so far. Cat unable to get it done. She pulls her towards the rope so she can get leverage. One, two. Even with leverage, she couldn't take Cheeky down. Thrown into the corner, tries to leap at her but misses. Cheeky now has an opportunity, but she gets caught again. Cat taking her over, spinning around. Comes down hard with two knees on the arm. Picking Cheeky up, Cheeky arm drag takedown. Pushes Cat in the corner. Forearm shiver connects with another one in reverse back. Thrown to the ropes and over to the apron. She's gonna get pulled in the hard way, and yes she is. Cheeky now wobbly, but she fights, or tries to fight out of it, but gets absolutely rough as stunt. Pin attempt, one, two. Cheeky kick out. Cat comes in with a big slap to the face. And now she's, oh, I <laughs> thought she thought she had her, but nope. Cheeky again, working on. Now it's at Kraut. Clutch DDT, is that enough? Can she get the pin here? She gets her options of the leg up. One, two, three. Cheeky does get the victory. And it's a big one over Cat. That took a lot of effort and a lot of work. Cat was definitely up for this challenge. I get the impression that we will see these two fighting one more time soon enough. Hollywood Blondes are no joke and they are not going to go away without some sort of finish to this thing. And the unprofessionals continue to hold on and continue to fight back. That spine buster was devastating, but it wasn't quite enough. Here is your winner, Caitlin. So Cheeky with the big victory.
maintains her team's ability to gain wins, be it singles or tag team matches. All right, next up, it is Cat50,000 versus Ember in the next match between these two teams. Of course, because they were both competitors were fighting, neither came out with the other teammate, as might normally happen. Here we go. First out, it's Cat 50,000. are two of the DCW originals here. And her I know, one half of the kitty. What the? From Arizona, <laughs> the queen. Alright, here comes Ember. Two of the DCW originals right here. Here we go. These two ladies about to lock up. <laughs> that hair movement over Ember's face was quite something to behold. Ember comes in and immediately, though, goes after Cat, taking her down. So Cat in trouble early. But then Ember misses, giving Cat an a window of opportunity, a small peak, which she's able to take advantage of. Arm drag takedown takes Ember out of the equation. Smashes her arm now. Stomps on it one more time. Stretches her out. Using those arms to create pain at the joints. Pain and the forearms. And just general pain everywhere. Ember firing back. Big chop. Return shop, two more come in. As Chibi gains, or Chibi, as Cat sends a receipt, but Ember still controlling this match. Wrenches Cat, tossing her. They lock up. Cat comes in with a big drop kick, sends Ember to the ground. Now what's she gonna do? She takes her and tosses her over. Now Cat 50,000 pretzeling up her leg, stomps on Ember's lower leg area. Trouble now for the uh, one half the Hollywood Blondes, but Ember able to fight out of it. She's got her up and smashes her down. Of 
Throws her up and over as again, Ember able to do damage. Chop on Cat, who's not able to come back on that one. Throws her against the ropes, turns her over and around, and then just wrenches on the neck area. But Cat able to reverse the what looked to be an obvious press slam. Amber comes up with a big European uppercut though to reverse things. And then back breaker stretch. Working on Cat, then she just dumps her off her knee. Cat grabs her back. She's down at the moment. One. Strutting her stuff. Ember's feeling it now. Cat 50,000 in trouble. Picks her up. Tosses her into the ring. Turnbuckles. But then just chop blocks her to the ground. Big tackle. Knocks Cat 50,000 over again. Pinning attempt again. One, two. Stands her up and then just socks her right in the jaw. Cat 50,000 in deep trouble. It has been a while since she's mounted much in the way of offense. Ember dragging her towards the center of the ring. Locked in. She's got her in the figure four. Now going for the figure eight. She's bridged it. It's bridged. Cat 50,000, can she get free? She's working to and does. Strike to get herself out of that. Tries to go for a cutter move, but that got cut off. Now kicked to the midsection. And now turns her over. It's an arm bar. Locked in. Can she finish off Ember? No, Ember squeaks out of it, and now she's raining strikes down. Drop kick. And then caught out. Tries to go for the kick, but it mostly misses. Chop comes in. Down goes Cat again. Ember trying to finish this off. Crowd going crazy right now. One, two, no, not two. Crowd cheering on Cat 50,000. The Unprofessionals are a popular team in this division. Scissors. Now she's wrenching on her again, trying everything she can to make her ligaments, bones, everything stretch out of alignment. One, two. So Ember has had the field day so far in this latter half of the match. This could be leading to the end here now. There cannot be much left in the tank for Cat 50,000. Dragging her towards the center of the ring, bashes her arm into the mat. Now, working, wrenching, squeezing, making her life very awkward. Ember trying to struggle to her feet. She's up, kicked to the midsection, and another, and a third, and then a big Inseguri catches Ember. And for the first time in a long time, possibly five, 10 minutes, suddenly Cat 50,000 in control. One, two. Amber kicks out. Can Cat finish this game off? Can she, like her partner, get the win? Or will Ember get back into control and steal this back? Tackle. That spear catches Cat and down she went again. Now, this is it. If Ember can lock on the figure eight, this could be over. And she is trying to stretch those legs out and get it ready for her finishing submission move. But she's gonna wheelbarrow slam 
first. Here we go. Figure four locked in. She's going to bridge. If she bridges, this could be over right now. Cat in trouble. The figure eight locked in. Bridge applied. She can't get out. She's not going for the leg to get herself free. She's so in trouble now. Oh, but somehow she just fights out of it. She didn't give in and Ember just saw the whole thing crumble. Elbow to the forehead. Cat 50,000 turns her up, turns her over, slams her back down. That razor's edge type move. Missed by Ember. Down she goes again. Cat's opportunity is here. Can she finish this match off for good? Down again. Another arm bar. Ember in trouble. And Ember. No, Ember cannot get free. And after two figure eights that Cat survived, she actually catches. Ember in an armbar submission. Quite the match by the unprofessionals and both ladies prove their mettle fighting through the adversity of the match and they won against the Hollywood Blondes sending them both packing and probably back to the drawing board I would think. That figure eight is a devastating move, but somehow Cat survived two of them. Kitty. So what will be next for the champions as they have the Pixel Pals coming up and they have to beat them to hold on to their championships. But next up, it is our main event of the evening, Lilu versus Brenna in the final match as Lilu aims to try and make a name for herself by beating the champion in a non-title affair. Both of these ladies have a long history against one another and Brenna would like nothing more than to get yet another win. And with her interference earlier against Lizzie, you have to wonder if Lizzie is going to try and get herself involved yet again in another match. But either way, here we go. And out first, it's Lilu. titles once more about to come out here she comes it's Brenna coming out have to pun Lilu yeah I, I appreciate a good pun the champ with the gold around her waist and the crowd may not like it but they're gonna have to get used to it. And her opponent, 
from Valhalla, the women's world champion, the barbarian champion. Brenna looks like she is ready. Lilu looked like she was ready. This match could be quite the thing to come between these two ladies. Lilu, of course, will want to get back into the title pitcher, but in order to do that, she has a formidable opponent, <clears throat> one who has had her number at times. Brenna comes out with a clothesline which staggered Lilu right off the bat. Sends her into the corner, but Lilu does fire up and come out flying. But that may just be portents of problems to come, although she does strike with a quick punch there, but jabs coming in. Now they're just throwing haymakers at each other. Brenna tosses her against the ropes, ducks under, knocks her down, pulls her over. Oh, Lilu takes her down, launching punch after punch after punch. Hitting combination attempt. Hitting attempt. I don't know why I keep saying combination. It's not a combination. Brenna now stands up. Leaps up and gets her with a Hurricane Rana out of nowhere. Very difficult for someone as tall and, and uh, of such stature to be able to do that out of nowhere. But she did. Leela comes in with her own series of strikes, but the champ has followed up. Brenna picking Lilu up, picks her up, and it's a Samoan slam. Lilu in trouble. Turns her over, another Samoan slam. Picking her up again. Now Lilu in deep trouble. The champ working away. Lilu's attempts to break this arm lock are not really working terribly well. Doesn't seem like Brenna wants a submission is so much to cause pain and injury. Breaking down on Lilu, she tosses her back down. Lilu struggling to try and get to her feet. Brenna takes her, but ooh, a big strike in the mouth as Lilu actually does get some control, but she's got picked up. Oh, dropped on her arm. Now it's a pin attempt, one. Lilu kicking out. Scissors. Caught in, Lilu in trouble. Trying to get free and does. Whoa, a little herky jerky there, but uh, apparently Brenna got Lilu down. Again, she's using those scissors to great effect. Takes her over one more time. Working on the arms, working on the neck. It's been a clinic so far by the champ. With only a small amount of offense shown by Lilu. Stomping again. Goes for a quick pin. One, two. Oof. Getting closer now. Brenna has got Lilu where she wants her, which is in trouble. But now Lilu stands up, playing a bit of possum there, gets free. Now she's trying to put some damage on the arm that causes all of the agony. Part of the repertoire of Brenna is her ability to wrench you with those arm bars, but Lilu trying to stretch the legs, but the taller competitor able to get free. Brenna, though, taken over. Now going up, up. Up to the top rope, Lilu waiting to drop on her. She is set up, but misses. Took way too long to do that. Brenna picking Lilu up now. Setting her up in the corner, bashes her face. She's leaning in the... Struggling to get back into this match. Lilu 
pushes the champ into the corner. Now she's going to try and throw her into the post. And does. And down goes Brenna. Tries to stomp on her. Brenna rushes out. Catches Lilu and slams her to the mat. Another pinning attempt. One, two, three. And that is it. Brenna just pummeled Lilu into the mat. Wearing her down and taking her out. Here is your winner, the Barbarian. You like that look? Yeah, it is a better look, I think. Oh, but here comes Tamara into the ring. Whoa, and she clotheslines Brenna. Brenna stood up. Tamara now working on the arm. Champ elbows her way out of that, though. You're not going to beat Brenna this easily, and even with a dirty shot from out of nowhere. But a Superman punch might be the winning tool here. This fight is going on with no referee in the ring to put a stop to it. Brenna gets tossed over. He's trying to get Tamara out, but Tamara's not going anywhere. She's going to cause more trouble. She's ready. She takes her down. She's got her locked on. She's got that submission in. And with that, and with the very loud music, we're at the end of Attitude. And just like that, the champ has reached out and gotten taken care of.